Welcome, brave souls, to another chilling episode of our scary stories. As the veil of darkness descends and the unseen creatures of the night awaken, we delve into a tale that will make your blood run cold. Tonight, we bring you an unnerving journey through the human mind, a tale of whispers and unseen horrors. Turn down the lights, get comfortable, and let the fear embrace you, as we narrate the terrifying tale of whispers from the darkness, a doctor's descent into madness. In the sterile, bleak confines of her corner office at the St. Augustine Behavioral Health Clinic, Dr. Isabel Wright stared at the ticking mahogany clock on the wall. Its rhythmic ticks echoed through the room, slicing the silence into a jigsaw of awkward pauses and pregnant moments. The scent of her freshly brewed coffee danced in the air, mingling with the sterile smell of antiseptic that seemed to cling to every inch of the clinic. A soft knock on her door signaled the arrival of her last appointment of the day. Ethan, his file lay open before her, the word paranoia inked in bold, a label assigned to a complex web of fear and confusion. Isabel straightened in her chair, her heart pounding a primal drumbeat in her chest. The door creaked open, its chilling squeak a prelude to Ethan's entrance. The young man slithered into the room like a phantom, his gaunt face a pallet of haunted expressions. Isabel felt an icy shiver creep up her spine as their eyes met. Ethan's were akin to shadowed pools, hiding depths of terror that screamed silently for help. He exuded a cold aura that caused the room to grow perceptibly chillier. Good evening, Ethan, Isabel began, her voice steady, practiced in the art of sounding unfazed. Ethan took his place on the worn leather couch, eyeing the room suspiciously, his Adam's apple bobbing with each swallow. His raspy voice filled the air, evening, doc. Isabel noticed his fingers fidgeting, plucking at invisible threads in the air. He looked around the room, his gaze darting about like a trapped animal. He was drawn to the half-closed blinds, through which the dying light of the sun cast elongated, ghostly shadows across the room. His fear seemed to bleed into the air, tinging it with an inexplicable heaviness. Each question from Isabel was met with hushed, cryptic responses. Ethan spoke of darkness, of shadowy figures whispering ominous tales, of nights drenched in paralyzing fear. As his disturbing confessions echoed in the room, an eerie silence fell. Isabel felt the tick-tock of the clock in her veins, a bizarre sensation akin to the foreboding calm before a storm. Feeling a sudden cold breeze, Isabel glanced towards the window to see the curtains billowing slightly. She couldn't shake off the sensation of eyes watching her, of whispers barely audible in the growing darkness. She looked at Ethan, whose haunted eyes reflected his living nightmare, and a pit of dread began to form in her own heart. The room was no longer just an office. It had become a stage for the terrifying narrative of Ethan's life. With the session over, Ethan left the room as quietly as he had entered, leaving behind an echo of his fears. The door closed with a definitive click sealing in the palpable dread that had begun to seep into the once mundane room. The shadows grew longer, the silence deeper, and for the first time in her professional life, Isabel felt a shiver of genuine fear. Little did she know, the whispers were just beginning. Their terrible symphony was yet to play, ready to lure her into an abyss from which there was no return. The shadows in the room seemed to pulse with a life of their own, a prelude to the chilling symphony of terror that was to follow. As Isabel sat in the swallowing darkness, she couldn't shake off the feeling that her life was about to change forever. The ticking clock continued its ceaseless chant, marking the birth of a nightmare that was yet to unfold in the hushed whispers from the darkness. In the following days, Dr. Wright found herself pacing the confines of her office, her mind echoing Ethan's chilling tales. The previously comforting room, filled with earth-toned furniture, and a soothing waterfall painting had taken on an eerie quality. The cerulean hues in the artwork, once calming, now seemed to ripple with an undercurrent of unease. During their late night sessions, Ethan's paranoia had unfolded like a cryptic puzzle, his fear infesting the room like a cold winter chill. He spoke of whispers from the shadows, of unseen eyes watching his every move, and of a dread that kept him shackled in its icy grip. As Ethan's haunting accounts wrapped around her thoughts, Isabel started to hear an unusual sound. It was a murmur, a barely audible rustling like dry leaves on a windless night, just skirting the edges of her perception. Dismissing it as a symptom of overwork, she attempted to bury it beneath piles of other patients' files. Despite the distractions, the murmur grew in intensity, transforming into a voiceless whisper that crept up her spine and nestled in her consciousness. 
The once innocuous silence of her office now harbored an uninvited guest, an unseen presence that hummed its low tune in tandem with Ethan's paranoia. Her once secure sanctuary felt tainted, the silence echoing with unseen whispers. The sterile smell of the clinic couldn't mask the faint scent of her growing fear, a musky, lingering smell, as if the very walls absorbed her anxiety and reflected it back. During one of their sessions, she found herself fixating on Ethan as he described the whispers he heard. His terror-stricken eyes, darting from one corner of the room to another, reflected the horrors he heard in the whispers. A bead of sweat trickled down his forehead, making a trail through his pale skin. It glistened in the soft light of the room, a silent testament to his dread. Isabel felt an odd resonance with Ethan's fear. The whispers she had been ignoring began to echo his words, an eerie chorus to his solitary melody of dread. The fear in Ethan's eyes seemed to reflect her own, though she concealed it behind a professional facade. Struggling to maintain her composure, Isabel assured Ethan that she would do everything in her power to help him. As his hope-filled eyes met hers, she couldn't help but feel a sinking sensation, a whispering doubt questioning her conviction. After Ethan's departure, the room descended into an unsettling stillness. The echoes of their conversation lingered in the air, merging with the mysterious whispers that had made a home in her office. The late night shadows stretched across the room, their formless shapes resembling silent spectators to her inner turmoil. As the quiet dread of the evening wrapped itself around her, the whispers continued their sinister symphony, an unending reminder of the terrifying journey she had unwittingly embarked upon. The office, her sanctuary, was now the stage of an unsettling performance, its ending yet unwritten. And she, Dr. Isabel Wright, was not merely the audience, but also an unwilling participant in the unfolding horror. In the subsequent weeks, the whispers grew louder, turning from an indistinct murmur to a tangible voice, echoing Ethan's fears in Dr. Isabel Wright's mind. She found herself feeling Ethan's dread, each word he spoke during their sessions reflected in the whispers. As the line between her patient's fears and her reality started to blur, Isabel questioned her professional detachment. Her office had transformed from a clinical sanctuary into a portal of paranoia. The faded Persian carpet beneath her desk, with its intricate patterns and familiar worn spots, seemed to ripple with a hidden current, matching the unease coursing through her. Each shadow cast by her austere bookshelf seemed to hide a lurking terror, an embodiment of Ethan's vivid descriptions. Even the city beyond her window, with its towering steel structures and neon signs, couldn't shake off an ominous pall. The once comforting bustle of the city was replaced by an unsettling hum, a replica of the whispers that frequented her mind. The city lights, dancing in the distance, flickered like the waning sanity she clung to. During the sessions, Ethan's hushed tone and trembling hands resonated with the Sabel's growing unease. His every uttered syllable, every described dread, was replayed in the whispers that plagued her. As his paranoia unraveled in her office, she felt a reflection of his fear curling in the pit of her stomach. Ethan often spoke of a relentless presence, an unseen tormentor that whispered tales of doom and despair. He would clench his hands, his knuckles turning a ghastly white under the pressure. His wide, horrified eyes stared at unseen horrors, his body coiling tighter with each passing moment. Observing him, Isabel could feel her heartbeat synchronizing with Ethan's fear her breath hitching in time with his hushed words. One evening, as Ethan recounted another episode of terrifying whispers, Isabel couldn't help but shiver. Her normally steady hands trembled as she reached for her cup of lukewarm tea, its floral aroma failing to soothe her fraying nerves. The tepid liquid slid down her throat, mirroring the icy dread that had slithered into her life. In her mind, the whispers echoed Ethan's descriptions, each horrifying detail amplifying her terror. She found herself checking over her shoulder, the sensation of being watched growing stronger. The corners of the room, draped in shadows, seemed to harbor unseen entities. The chill of the evening gnawed at her, seeping into her bones and making her shiver despite the heavy coat draped over her shoulders. As the days turned into weeks, her office no longer felt like her own. It had become an echo chamber for Ethan's paranoia, the whispers a constant reminder of his terrifying experiences. Isabel was no longer a mere observer, she was now a participant in Ethan's nightmare, her life merging with his, drawn into the tide of terror by the relentless whispers from the darkness. As the autumn months rolled in, the whispers of Ethan's fears grew into a disconcerting symphony in Dr. Isabel Wright's mind. 
The crimson and amber hues of falling leaves outside her window were a stark contrast to the chilling unease brewing within her. The whispers followed her like a shadow, breaking the barriers of her office walls and infiltrating her personal life. Her quaint apartment, once a haven of tranquility, now echoed with the whispers that held her in their icy grip. Haunted by these relentless whispers, Isabel's once restful nights were now invaded by relentless nightmares, waking her in cold sweats. Each echo of Ethan's dread left her tossing and turning, the tranquility of sleep and elusive memory. The comforting aroma of her chamomile tea and the crisp pages of her favorite novels could no longer ward off the whispers that seeped into her world. Every morning, the sight of her own reflection seemed unfamiliar, the bags under her eyes narrating tales of sleepless nights. Her once vibrant eyes were now tinged with a dull fear that mimicked Ethan's, a testament to the terror that the whispers instilled. Her daily routine was punctuated by a growing disorientation. The whispers were a constant undertone to her conversations, the tick-tock of her antique clock at home, and even the soft hum of her car engine. The familiar streets she drove through, the bustling cafe she frequented, the once cheerful chatter of her friends, all seemed veiled by a chilling layer of the whispers' echoes. Isabel's ability to focus on her other patients waned. Her mind would often drift back to Ethan's sessions, the whispers persistently echoing his fears. Her once firm handwriting was replaced by erratic scribbles, her notes mirroring the chaos in her mind. Her relationships began to strain under the weight of her unspoken dread. Phone calls from friends were left unanswered, invitations declined, and concerns dismissed with weak smiles. The vibrant woman they knew was receding behind a wall of silence, her cheer replaced by a quiet apprehension. As her life outside the clinic mirrored the turmoil within, Isabel decided to seek help. Her colleague, Dr. Jenkins, was a seasoned neurologist known for his discerning eye and comforting presence. The decision brought her a fleeting moment of relief, a lull in the storm that her life had become. The echoes of Ethan's paranoia, the whispers that grew louder each day, had taken a toll on her. As Isabel looked at the setting sun through her window, the dwindling light seemed symbolic of her waning sanity. The whispers were not merely echoes now, they had become the terrifying narrators of her life, pushing her further into the icy arms of fear. At the break of the next week, Dr. Wright found herself in the waiting room of Dr. Jenkins' office. The clinical white of the walls, usually a symbol of sterility and safety, seemed to echo the terror she was experiencing. Her fingers, cold from the whispers that had chilled her core, absent-mindedly traced the textured fabric of the chair. As Dr. Jenkins welcomed her into his office, the years of camaraderie between them seemed a distant memory. Isabel's heart pounded as she shared her experiences, her words hanging heavy in the air. Dr. Jenkins listened, his eyes reflecting concern as he scribbled notes. Numerous tests were performed, brain scans, blood work, and psychological assessments. Isabel submitted to each, desperate for an explanation, a sign of a physical ailment that would explain her deteriorating mental state. The whispers, however, continued unabated, weaving their terrifying narrative even as she waited for her results. Days later, the verdict arrived. Dr. Jenkins, with a reassuring smile, explained that all her results were within normal parameters. She was physically well, but his eyes held a question, was she mentally so? Isabel felt a hollow victory at her diagnosis. While she was relieved to know she was physically well, the whispers were a chilling reminder of the unseen battle she was fighting. Her room, filled with certificates declaring her mental health expertise, seemed to mock her. Her grip on reality, as indicated by her tormented nights and restless days, was fading. Ethan's words echoed in her mind as she walked the familiar path back to her office. She looked at the surroundings, the whispering trees, and the autumn-tinted sky, their beauty marred by the unseen whispers that tainted her every moment. Back in her office, Isabel sat silently, the ticking of the clock piercing the numb silence. Ethan's next session was due soon. She stared at her reflection in the blank screen of her laptop, the flickering neon light outside her window casting long shadows on her face. The whispers grew louder in anticipation, their menacing tone echoing the dread she felt. She found herself thinking about Ethan's terror-filled eyes, her own dread a dark mirror of his fears. As his appointed hour drew closer, the whispers intensified, their horrifying resonance filling the room. The once comforting hum of the city now seemed to sync with the whispers, a chilling orchestra to her unfolding nightmare.
Ethan's condition worsened with every passing day. He was a wisp of a man now, his eyes clouded with an indescribable terror. During their sessions, he would speak of the whispers as if they were living entities, their ominous narratives taking a more personal turn. He described voices that knew his fears, his past, his secrets, their words woven with an intimate knowledge of his life. As Ethan revealed the darker facets of his paranoia, Isabel found herself caught in the terrifying reflections. His fears echoed in the whispers she heard, a chilling chorus to the dissonance in her mind. The boundaries between Ethan's fears and her reality blurred, a horrifying painting of shared dread. Each session was a descent into a shared nightmare, their fears entangled like the shadows cast by the setting sun outside her window. One winter afternoon, as the wind howled against the clinic's windows and the city was painted in shades of gray, Ethan shared a particularly harrowing account. He spoke of a traumatic past incident, a forgotten memory that the whispers had dug out from the recesses of his mind. As his words filled the room, the whispers in Isabel's mind echoed the dreadful tale, their voices mirroring his terror. The hairs on the back of her neck stood on end as Ethan's reality, and the whispering voices overlapped, their dread wrapping her like an icy blanket. The lines between her patient's fears and her own were no longer discernible. Isabel felt an intimate connection to Ethan's terror, his whispered words amplified in the echoes that haunted her. The fearful eyes that stared back at her from the mirror seemed to belong to a different person, a stranger united with her through shared terror. Her professional life was in shambles, her friends worried, and her nights sleepless, but Isabel was too far drawn into the nightmare to notice. The whispers were a constant presence, a chilling symphony to her unfolding horror story. Her life had become a mirrored image of Ethan's fear, their realities interwoven by the unseen threat of the whispers. Ethan left the office that day, a mere ghost of the man he had been. Isabel sat in her chair, her heart pounding with the shared dread. The room was silent, but the echoes of the whispers lingered, a reminder of the horrifying narrative that was yet to unfold. Isabel looked out at the gray cityscape, the falling snowflakes dancing to the rhythm of the whispers in her mind. Her life was no longer her own. She was now a captive audience to the terrifying performance of the whispers, a shared spectacle of fear with Ethan, as she slowly descended into the chilling abyss of madness. In an effort to understand the unseen terror that she and Ethan were grappling with, Dr. Wright plunged into a comprehensive study of her patient's past. Her usually tidy desk was buried under a mountain of files, research papers, and scribbled notes, the usually bright lamplight casting ominous shadows on the documents. Late into the night, she pored over Ethan's past psychiatric evaluations, police reports, and personal journals, each paper a puzzle piece to the terrifying enigma that Ethan's life had become. The whispers were her unwelcome companions, their chilling echoes coloring the words she read. A breakthrough came in the form of a decades-old police report. Its ink faded, but the horrifying tale it spun was as clear as the day it was written. It spoke of a night of tragedy in Ethan's childhood, an unexplained event that left a dark entity in its wake. An entity that Ethan believed was responsible for the whispers that filled his nights with terror. The discovery sent a chill running down Isabel's spine. The whispers in her mind echoed the terrifying revelation, their sinister voices seeming to revel in the unveiled mystery. The narrative was no longer a mere echo of paranoia, it had roots in a horrific past an event that had given birth to the haunting whispers. Ethan's chilling accounts, now corroborated by documented reports, no longer seemed like just the ramblings of a paranoid mind. His reality, steeped in fear and haunted by an unseen entity, was a shared horror that Isabel was now living. Back in her office, the whispers seemed to pulse with a renewed energy. The room felt colder, the shadows darker, and the silence heavier. Her comforting office, now a breeding ground for terror, echoed with the newfound knowledge of Ethan's past. Ethan's next session painted a clear picture of the disturbing past incident. He spoke in hushed tones of the dark entity he believed had been released that fateful night. As the words left his mouth, the whispers in Isabel's mind mirrored his chilling tale, an invisible narrator to the spine-chilling narrative. As the sun set and her office was bathed in the gloaming, the shared fears took on a more tangible form. The voices of the unseen entity, echoing the chilling past and an impending doom, seemed to grow stronger, a terrible crescendo to their shared nightmare. Isabel left the office that day, Ethan's past echoing in her mind, and the whispers becoming a dreadful symphony of fear. 
As she walked the dimly lit streets, the night seemed darker, the shadows longer, and the city eerily quiet. Her world, intertwined with Ethan's fear, was slowly being consumed by the whispers from the dark abyss of their shared terror. The sun had set on her old life, and she was now a captive in the chilling night of the whispering shadows. The knowledge of Ethan's traumatic past hung over Dr. Wright like a shroud, casting its dread-filled shadow over her every moment. The whispers that once merely echoed Ethan's fears now resonated with a newfound depth of terror, their haunting voices an eerie reminder of the chilling past they both shared. As the frosty grip of winter tightened over the city, the icy dread took hold of Isabel's sanity. The whispers grew more insistent, their voices merging with her thoughts until the boundary between her mind and the voices was blurred beyond recognition. The confines of her office seemed to grow colder with each passing day, the whispers a chilling wind that swept through her. Each ticking of the clock, each rustle of paper, each echo of footsteps in the hallway seemed to be in sync with the terrifying whispers, the once mundane sounds now a horrifying orchestra to her ongoing nightmare. During her sessions with Ethan, his every utterance of fear mirrored in the whispers she heard. His descriptions of the entity, its terrifying threats, and haunting narratives were reflected in the voices that echoed in her mind. As the entity continued to torment Ethan, it found a new victim in Isabel, her sanity slowly crumbling under its relentless assault. The whispers became louder, their voices insistent, each word an echo of the entity's threats. As Isabel sat alone in her office, the dread of what was to come wrapped around her like a chilling shroud. Her life was being consumed by a terrifying narrative, a whispering horror that promised an inescapable doom. The echoes of the entity, the whispers of a dark past, and the impending doom were now her unwelcome reality, her sanity eroding under the weight of the unseen terror. In the heart of the grueling winter, when the city was blanketed under a carpet of pristine snow, and the nights were at their darkest, Dr. Wright decided to take a daring step. Faced with the terrifying reality of the whispers and her shared fate with Ethan, she chose to confront the unseen entity that held them captive in a world of dread. Isabel delved deeper into her research, her days filled with endless scrolls and faded papers. Ancient texts, obscure medical journals, and forgotten psychiatric theories became her guide in her search for a way to confront the entity. The whispers, ever-present, echoed the chilling tales she uncovered their voices a horrifying companion to her desperate quest. The solution came in the form of a forgotten psychiatric treatment, buried deep in an ancient medical journal. It was a risky, unconventional method that involved delving into the shared subconscious, a pathway into the terrifying world of the whispers. With a hope that was as fragile as the winter ice, Isabel prepared herself for the daunting task ahead. Ethan, a gaunt reflection of his former self, agreed to the radical treatment with a desperation that mirrored her own. They were two souls ensnared by an unseen terror, their only hope a plunge into the darkness they both feared. The treatment room, a sterile white space filled with humming machines and cold steel, became the battleground for their shared terror. As Ethan lay on the treatment bed, Isabel at his side, the room seemed to pulse with a chilling anticipation. The scent of sterilized metal and the hum of the machines were now a part of the haunting chorus of the whispers. As the treatment commenced, the boundary between reality and the chilling world of the whispers faded. Isabel found herself sharing Ethan's fears, their realities merging into a nightmarish landscape haunted by the entity. Their shared consciousness, a chilling tableau of their deepest fears, echoed with the whispers of the entity, its terrifying threats taking a form more horrifying than they had imagined. The entity was a shadow, a darkness that hung over them, its whispers a deafening roar in their shared subconscious. The confrontation with the entity was a terror-filled dance, a struggle against the icy chains of fear that bound them. Each threat from the entity, each chilling narrative, was met with their unified defiance. Their confrontation with the entity, a horrifying spectacle in their shared nightmare, pushed Isabel to the edge of her sanity. The whispers grew more intense, their terrifying narrative a storm in the calm sea of her mind. Yet, in the heart of the terror, she found a sliver of hope, a beacon in the engulfing darkness. As Isabel and Ethan navigated the chilling world of the whispers, their combined resistance pushing against the entity's threats, they managed to disentangle themselves from the shackles of fear. The battle was far from over, the entity's whispers a chilling reminder of the terrifying climax that was yet to come. The confrontation had begun, their lives hanging in the balance, as they took the first step into the shadows, the echoes of their shared terror a chilling prelude to the final showdown. 
In the heart of the whispered storm, under the shadow of the menacing entity, Dr. Isabel Wright and Ethan stood united in their shared consciousness. The entity, an embodiment of their deepest fears, loomed over them, its presence a suffocating fog of dread. The whispers echoed around them, their terrifying narratives painting a chilling scene of despair. The entity, a silhouette in the fog, threatened them with their deepest fears, the horrors of their past, and the bleakness of their future. Yet, Isabel and Ethan, bound by their shared terror, stood tall in the face of the unseen horror. As the whispers reached a terrifying crescendo, Isabel and Ethan, their resolve shining like a beacon in the darkness, confronted the entity. They spoke words of defiance, their voices a harmonious chant against the whispering terror. Each echoed fear, each threatening narrative, was met with a determination that rivaled the entity's chilling power. The confrontation was a battle of wills, a tug of war between the chilling whispers and their shared defiance. The entity's chilling threats reverberated through their shared subconscious, a horrifying symphony that seemed to shake the very fabric of their reality. Yet, the strength of their combined resilience, their refusal to succumb to the terror, gradually dimmed the power of the whispers. The entity, once a dominating shadow, seemed to recede, its figure fading into the mist of their shared consciousness. The whispers began to wane, their once deafening roars reducing to indistinct murmurs. Isabel and Ethan, their hearts pounding with shared triumph, watched as the entity and the world it had created dissolved into nothingness. In the sterile treatment room, the hum of machines and the ticking of the clock gradually returned to reality. As they awakened from their shared subconscious, the relief was a tangible force between them. The whispers, their constant companion of dread, had silenced, leaving an overwhelming quiet in their wake. The battle was over, the whispers defeated, and the entity banished to the darkness from whence it came. Their shared nightmare had ended, their lives slowly returning to the normalcy they once knew. Yet, the memory of the whispers, the chilling entity, and the darkness they had faced, remained etched in their minds, a haunting reminder of their shared descent into madness. As the first rays of dawn painted the sky with hues of hope, Dr. Wright looked out of her office window. The city, oblivious to her harrowing battle, stirred to life, the whispering wind carrying away the last remnants of her chilling encounter. And there we have it, as the echoes of whispers from the darkness fade away, leaving us with a chill that might linger long after this episode. A reminder, dear listeners, of the horrifying journey we've taken today into the depths of fear and madness. But remember, every whisper in the dark isn't always an unseen terror. Or is it? Until next time, brave souls, remember to keep the light on and the whispers out. This is our Scary Stories signing off for tonight.